Hello, it's Dr. Colleen Huber, here today on January 8, 2020, to talk to you about a common mineral, that is, selenium. At our clinic, we've used selenium for over a decade with cancer patients, and our clinic still has the best results that are documented against cancer. You can see those results on our website, natureworksbest.com. We have given over 42,000 treatments to date, and selenium has been a part of most of those treatments. We also use many other nutrients together with selenium because the beneficial effect of any individual nutritional molecule is greatly magnified by accompaniment from the other nutrients. Why have we used it? Because selenium is a part of glutathione, and glutathione is essential for protecting the mitochondria from hydrogen peroxide. Our mitochondria is our very strongest tool against cancer. So we not only need to give it what it needs to function well, but we also have to protect the mitochondria from damage. I talk about this more in my Cancer and Biochemistry video 22. That one is about vitamin C and glutathione. Helmut Cease was a scientist who did much to clarify the roles of both glutathione and selenium as antioxidants. And in that role, those molecules work to protect the mitochondria. This article discusses an overview of his work. Why is this important? Because cancer cells are more easily stressed than normal cells. And as crazy fast and chaotically as they grow, they also have vulnerabilities. Yes, cancer cells do have vulnerabilities. Heat stresses them out. Oxidative assault stresses them. Normal cells survive these things, but the normal cells must have protected mitochondria in order to continue working against cancer. And selenium is not a luxury, but rather is absolutely required for this protection of the mitochondria. That's why we are careful to include selenium and glutathione when we prepare IV nutrients for our patients. These are essential to fighting cancer. Dr. Cease discusses that here and here. Animal studies have shown that selenium reduced cancer incidence in various species of animals and with various types of cancers. The work of Schamberger and Frost is summarized here. In humans, it has also been known that people with a low blood level of selenium have an increased risk of cancer generally. A decade-long study found significantly less prostate cancer in the men getting selenium than the ones not getting selenium supplementation. This study was of over 900 men, followed for an unusually long time. In addition to significantly lowering prostate cancer, there was also significantly less lung cancer, colorectal cancer, and less total cancers in the men receiving selenium supplements. Overall cancer morbidity and mortality was decreased by 50% in the selenium supplemented group. Selenium also showed a useful protective effect against the initial development of breast cancer. Here is a meta-analysis finding that at the end of the last century, Selenium was the most promising agent ever found against cancer in actual clinical trials with humans. That is no small thing, and you should probably point out this video and its links to your friends and relatives. How does this happen? Selenium attached to a sulfur compound such as methionine has been shown to stop the initiation and post-initiation phases of carcinogenesis. This is so important because at the cellular level, Selenium is basically stopping cancer in its tracks as it is getting started, but when and only when it can actually arrive to the cancer. We have found the intravenous forms to be more effective for this than simply oral supplementation for our patients with active cancer. Another matter, how does selenium fit into metabolism here on our metabolic pathways? One helpful way is that selenomethionine can substitute for methionine here in the citric acid cycle. This cycle we looked at a while back in this video series as providing very useful electrons for the electron transport chain here. All of this activity driving the mitochondria. Now methionine is a very useful molecule and brings selenium with it. It can convert to cysteine and with that methionine can be useful at isocitrate dehydrogenase, succinate dehydrogenase, fumarase, or it can convert to succinyl-CoA. All of this makes selenomethionine a highly versatile molecule. So now let's consider some foods that have selenium. The best known are Brazil nuts, and here's a photo from kitchenneeds.com. Many times men have heard that they should have a few Brazil nuts every day for prostate health. 
because of the selenium. I will not dispute that. It seems like a very reasonable and prudent thing to do for that reason. Fish, pork, and chicken are also helpful for selenium intake. Here's a Shutterstock photo. Well, that's all I have to whet your appetite for looking into selenium and the tremendous results it has shown against a variety of cancers. I am so glad to share this information with you. The large clinical trials of nutrients done in the 20th century are now getting eclipsed by small, newer studies that have been corrupted and heavily influenced by corporate interests. So thank you for maintaining your interest in nutrition. Nutrition and the mitochondria here are your best defense against cancer. This is Dr. Colleen Huber, a naturopathic medical doctor in Tempe, Arizona. It is Wednesday, January 8, 2020, and thank you for watching.